Okay, so today I'd like to talk about this bug that I fixed yesterday. It's not really a general game development topic, but I think it's pretty interesting. It, it ended up taking me the whole day and it was kind of a neat little thing to sort out. So I thought I'd just talk a bit about it, uh, share with you guys what kind of a day-to-day -day problem solving with Manifold Garden is like. All right, so in Manifold Garden, we've got this uh, fast travel mechanic. So this is the scene, World 011 Mini Steps. So let's hit play and I'll show you guys what the bug is. And then um, after that, I'll kind of go inside the code and explain a bit about what's going on. So when we actually hit, when we hit play inside Unity, we, are, we actually create another, a copy of the level that's optimized. Uh, you know, we combine all the meshes, uh, separate out the renders from the colliders and the gameplay objects in one. We delete all the boxes in the game because those are actually from an object pool. So that creates a, this optimized version of the level and then it sets up a bunch of supporting levels like required components, uh, don't destroy and load, and those are the ones that um, they don't get deleted. Um, when players moving from one level to another. So we're, we're waiting for some other levels to load now. During the game, this wouldn't actually happen. Okay, so let's take a look at this, this mechanic. Basically, there are these rooms inside, um, and there are these areas in Manifold Garden where you've got this room that's got this infinite tunnel. You know, it's like when you stand between two mirrors and you can see the whole way repeated infinitely. Well, this is, this is imagine, you know, you can walk down that. So as an example, you know, I'm gonna create a cube, pick it up, I'm gonna bring it in here and you can see that um, being affected. So, um, but anyway, we've got this mechanic where there is a smaller version of the level. You know, I'm gonna no clip out. You guys can see here, this is what the level looks like. Um, you know, kind of a bunch of blocks, like there's a piece that, um, two like vertical sections. Well, so we're gonna no fly back in here, turn off no clip. You can see this little mini model is supposed to kind of represent that. And you got the two vertical pieces, and then kind of like that flat area. And in fact, right here is the very room we're in. So, Basically, you can shrink down into smaller versions of the level. It's sort of, if you've seen the Men in Black, the ending, when they zoom out, this is that in reverse. So it's like, you can shrink down to a small version, but this is what happens, right? At the end, it seems that I've somehow zoomed back into this, this weird area. Um, so I'm gonna talk about why that's happening. So in, our rigid body controller script. So this is the code that is controlling the player. We have this sort of in the update function, it's doing this step where it's checking to see if the player is on the wrong side of the portal. So it's called get global teleported position and see if player on wrong side of portal. So it was it was originally named get global teleported pause, but I thought this was a little bit clearer. I really like long descriptive function names. So, okay, so this is called every frame. And basically what this does is it takes your position, takes the, an object's position, usually the player or a box, because both can get teleported, and it compares the current position with the previous position. And it, it sort of does this, uh, this, this capsule sweep. So, um, you know, let's say this is the, the player, which is represented as capsule. This is the current frame. Uh, this is the position in the previous frame. It sort of just does a, a sweep in the shape of this capsule from this position to this one. And it checks to see if it hit any portals. So if you're just kind of walking around normally and you're not going through portals, uh, it's not gonna detect any. But now the way portals work is it's just this plane, it's a trigger, and there's another plane and, and they all face this way. So the way portals in, they all kind of, they're all aligned with each other. So what I mean is uh, portals in Manifold Garden, you don't have portals that look like 
um, this, where you like you go in from here and you come out the side, those don't exist. It's always you come in uh, from here and you exit facing the same direction. And this is because of the gravity changing stuff. So, you know, we'll have these portals and they're facing in opposite directions and they're paired up. So what happens is if the player steps through here, they get teleported to the other side. Uh, so when the player does get teleported through the, the other side, well, what that function does is it does a sweep between our previous position. So this is the this is position one, this is position two. So it does a it does a sweep and it hits and you know it to the from the previous position to the current position. So that means it's gonna hit two of both of these portals at least. It might hit some other, like you know, you might have a portal placed here, like just somehow with the way you set it up geometrically it's it's in the line but that's pretty rare but what if we and we we account for that uh and what it does is it looks to get the closest portal to the player so the the once you've moved here you know this this portal is the closest portal to you and we use a we do a plane to distance which gives you a signed direction so you know if you're on the side of the forward direction of the plane, it's a positive number. If you're on the other side of the forward, of, if, you're, if you're on the side of the normal of the plane, it's a, it's a positive number. If you're on the other side, it's a negative number. Um, just so people know what I'm talking about, let's say this is a plane, right? Uh, the forward direction is like, you know, which, uh, so you can give it a normal, which side is facing up. Let's, let's actually use another color, let's use red. So this side is facing up. Um, so if we have an object and it's on the side of the normal, then it's a positive number. But if you have something here on the other side, which is in the other direction, then you get a negative number. So you can see what we do here is we get the distance to point and the idea is it's trying to figure out if you're on the correct side of the portal because as i said you know we have these portals uh you should always be on the positive side of it um because the idea is you walk through the portal and then you get teleported to the other one so if somehow the player ends up on this side on the on the wrong side on on this side of the portal they're in the wrong direction so we we move them you know they really should be here so we teleport them uh, so it does this check every frame, but when we do the Mandela controller, what happens is we actually move the player manually. So in that case, the player hasn't actually been teleported by a, a portal. So, you know, the player is here and we move the player manually and they end up here. But when it does this, this position check, you know, from the previous position to the new position, well, it hits the you know, a portal that was closer to your old position and it thinks that that is the closest portal. And now it thinks that you're in the wrong side because this is facing, you know, your old position. So, so now it's got a negative, it, it's giving you, you're getting a negative number. So, and then we're, we're moving the, um, then we teleport the player back, which is why you get that weird transition. So the solution is after you shrink down in the, after we move the player manually here, as you can see in this Mandela controller script, I've added another script called set player previous position to position. And basically what it does is it takes that previous position and it sets it to the current rigid body position. So basically, you know, it's no longer doing it from previous, we, we just sort of made the previous position equal to the current one. So it doesn't do this sweep and it's different, no longer detecting the portal. All right. so. Uh, yeah, this is not, this isn't really an idea that you can apply to other games. Like it's, it's, it happens <laughs> only in Manifold Garden because of the way we're doing portals and because we've got this like weird shrinking down mechanic. But anyway, this took all of yesterday to figure out and I just thought it was kind of a fun thing to share. All right, I'll see you guys later.